manjal is a mirror. A mirror is an object, smooth and well polished surface which reflects most of the light falling on it. Reflection characteristics are the type of reflection. In that type of reflection, how the image is formed, either real or virtual. What is the size? Is the size is diminished, same size or it is enlarged. Attitude. The attitude is whether the image is upright or inverted or laterally inverted. Now there are two types of images. Real image appears in front of the mirror. That means it can be caught on the screen. Always it will be inverted. Virtual image is the image which will be formed behind the mirror. It cannot be caught on the screen. Now coming to the sizes. Size may be enlarged. That is the image. Suppose this is the object. Enlarged image is bigger than the object. If it is diminished that means the image size will be smaller than the object. same size as the object. Now coming to attitude. Attitude is upright as it is that is virtual image. The right side up inverted. Inverted image is upside down. For real images it will be Inverted, laterally inverted, that is image is flipped horizontally. That means right side looks as left side and left side looks as right side. Types of mirrors, two types, plane and spherical. Again in spherical, convex and concave. In the plane mirror, the size of the object will be equal to the size of the image and it will be laterally invert and they are equidistant from the mirror and it always forms a virtual erect image cannot be caught on the screen now it's erect or upright it's virtual laterally inverted lies along the line joining object and surface which is perpendicular to the surface size equals to the object it's located as far behind the reflecting surface as from the mirror now coming to the curved mirrors concave and convex mirror if the reflector is curved inside it is concave mirror if the reflector is outside bulged out it is called as convex mirror when you observe your face in the concave mirror it will be virtual erect and highly magnified that is very large image so based upon this property dentists will use Concave mirrors for examining the teeth. Concave mirrors are used to produce a parallel beam as flashlights as shown in the figures. In the telescope to collect light from a distant source and focus it for viewing. And cosmetic mirror to produce an enlarged image. In the headlights of the car to produce a parallel beam of light that can be directed down low beam and or straight ahead that is high beam. Convex mirror is used as a rear mirror. It always forms virtual erect diminished image of it. For a convex mirror is always virtual upright and small. So convex is smaller size image. Concave is magnified image. The spherical mirror has curved surface, back side of the spoon and inside of the spoon. Reflecting through spherical mirrors. If the reflecting surface is inward, this is called as 
concave mirror if the reflecting surface is outward bulged outward that is called as convex mirror concave mirror always forms a real inverted image as far as it is in front of the mirror far away when the object is very near to the concave mirror then it forms a virtual erect and magnified image whereas in case of convex mirror which is the reflecting surface is bulged out always forms a virtual erect diminished image this is of spherical mirrors convex mirror convex mirrors are used mainly as a rear view mirrors or side view mirrors in the vehicles since they cover a wide area behind them and always forms virtual erect diminished clear images so that the driver can be warned about the vehicles behind at what distance and how can he protect coming to the uses of concave mirrors doctors use concave mirror for examining eyes ears nose and throat he is none other than ENT specialist concave mirrors are also used by dentist to see an enlarged image of the teeth the reflectors of torches headlights headlights of cars and scooters are all possesses concave mirrors loss of reflection types of reflection regular and irregular reflection multiple reflections to predict the path of incident rays for this case we need to apply the loss of reflection again however at the same time understand that when two mirrors are placed at an angle the rays of light are reflected multiple times through them for instance when two mirrors are set parallel facing each other there they will create the illusion that the image of the object will be many times for example if you are keeping the two mirrors with some angle in between them we can calculate the number of images formed in these mirrors will be 360 by theta minus 1 suppose if the angle is 60 degrees that is 360 by 60 minus 1 6 4 so 3 images is formed so that the, the angle between these two mirrors will be 60 degrees so 3 images 1 to 3 images of this arrow are formed over here same way here also 360 degrees between so three bottle images will be seen now another example for multiple reflections of light is kaleidoscope it uses the multiple reflection phenomena and when you are observing through this the different beautiful patterns will be formed the designers will be using kaleidoscope for designing the cloth or articles sunlight is white in color and it is a combination of seven colors that is fifth year how can we know that pass the sunlight through a prism then it splits into seven colors the splitting of sunlight when passes through a prism is known as dispersion so due to this dispersion you can observe a spectrum on the screen with violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red colors 
this is Meteor.